In the previous section, we were able to add the manage post page and also to style all the components on that page. In this video, we are going to be moving on to other pages and the first of them being the uh, add post page. So this is the create post page. It just has one form. All right, so let us go to our code base and the first step is to create a new file for this page. So let's do that. Inside the admin folder and the root folder of our project, there is a folder called post and we're going to create a file inside here called create.html to represent our create post uh, page. Okay, so it is going to have the same basic structure like any other admin page. So I'm going to open index.html inside that same post uh, folder. I'll copy all the code in that file and paste it in our create that HTML page okay then we can scroll to the top and start modifying uh, accordingly so this is no longer the manage post page but the create post page we don't need to change the path to the CSS since we haven't really changed directory the header is going to remain the same the sidebar is going to remain the same The page contents and the admin container uh, div elements will also still be wrapping uh, the contents of our page. And now what is going to change is the admin table and everything inside it. Because this is no longer a page where we have a table, we are going to have a form instead. So I'm going to delete uh, from the close, from the opening admin table uh, div tag to the closing admin table div tag. So usually um, when I'm being careful, instead of just deleting or selecting from top here, right down to bottom, where well, I can easily mistake and take out the wrong uh, closing div tag. What I usually do is I identify opening and closing tags within it that are clear and I begin to take them out one after the other. So all of this is within the admin table uh, div. So here is a form, here is a closing tag for the form. So I take that out and I am taking the pins to show you this because um, for most of my courses, uh, users usually make the mistake of attempting to take out the opening and closing tags of a div and then uh, leaving one opening tag that doesn't match with the closing tag. And uh, this uh, gets them into or uh, some bugs that are, that are very difficult to track down. Okay. So this is the opening T body tag. This is the closing T body tag. I take that out. I take out the table footer too. Then the table itself and then the diff that gives it the responsiveness. And uh, when we do that, we are left with the admin table class, the opening and closing one which we can very easily just take out. Okay, so that's it. We have removed um, we have removed the code for the manage post uh, table. And then down here in our script, we, we no longer need the featured post script. So I'm going to remove that also. Okay, and with that, we can proceed to adding the HTML for our create post form. And the HTML is going to be uh, a form, uh, a, a form, a post form. And we're going to determine where it is going to be posting to when we are making the website dynamic. All right. And as for the classes, we are going to give it a couple of classes. We'll give it an admin form class, which is going to be a general class that we will assign to all forms on our admin section. And we will do this so that we can have a common style across all our forms. The next class is one of the classes we defined for the responsiveness of admin containers. So it is the medium box. And if you need reminding, I'm just going to open our CSS, search for where I defined that style. And it is basically this uh, box that give, gives our container a width of about 75%. All right, so it determines the size of this form. 
okay and then as for the form we are going to be having an image we are going to be uploading an image within our form as you can see on the finished project and for forms that use images or files of any type of any kind it is required to add the enc type and set the value to multipart form data if we don't do this then later on when we attempt to submit our form um it's the image and uh, the images are not going to be submitted to the server okay all right so that's it for the form the next thing is the title of our form we'll just add an h1 with a class of center so that it can be centralized remember we have already defined this center class we will also add a second class called form title so that we can give it a certain style the title of the form is going to be create post form so if we take a look at our form the next thing is going to be form errors so for that we are going to have a div with a class or rather let us make it an unordered list with a class of form errors and within within that unordered list we will have list items each of them will have a uh, some list elements okay so that's all for our form errors so after the form errors the next thing is going to be the title input and the way we are going to be defining input elements on this site is we are going to group the label and the input element itself inside a div element and give it a class of input group okay so we'll have the label this label is for the title input and uh, let us add that input which is going to be of type text and we'll, go, we'll give it the input control class okay so the name is title the id is title and when you give this for attribute the value of title and give the input itself an id of title you will be able to select select the input simply by clicking on the label or you'll be able to focus on the input by clicking on the label so it is this id that ties it okay now let us open this page on the browser and see what it looks like so inside the post folder we have the create.html file all right so without any css on the form this is what it looks like so let us proceed and add all the uh, remainder of the element the html for the rest of the elements on the page before we jump into styling all right so the next input element is going to be the body for the body of the post so we we'll have another div with class input group it's going to have a label as well or post um let's say post editor and this is going to be a text area for now the name is simply going to be body the id is going to be post editor just like the for attribute on the label and then we are going to take out all the row and column or um, attributes now this text area is only temporary we all know that the um, native text area element on the browser doesn't have all these um, these features of bold underline and so on so the natural text area looks like this but in a later video we are going to replace this, te this text area with this uh, uh, text editor so we are just keeping this here as a placeholder all right so we can move on to the next input elements now we have here the topic selector as well as the image picker or the image uh, the the input field for the featured image so these two are being displayed side by side so we are not just going to add another input group directly under this one so what we will do is we'll have a div element called post details to wrap these two elements inside it so the two elements are going to be the select 
topic uh, wrapper which is this select topic wrapper and then the other one is going to be the image wrapper okay so let us pick the select input wrapper or rather the select topic wrapper it is going to be an input group remember it has a label and an input field also or more accurately a select input field so the label is going to be for topic and then we'll have a select input field the name is going to be topic id the id is going to be topic and let us provide a few options the first one is going to be empty so let's just leave it at this the next one is going to be for let me see business life lessons journaling so business okay life lessons and then journaling okay so let us leave it at this so that's all for the uh, select topic wrapper the next one is the image wrapper and for this one we're going to have an input field for the file so it's going to be of type file we'll give it a class of height so that it doesn't display right now because we don't see any file input field here we are going to do some magic with javascript or with uh, css and javascript to be able to select our image without necessarily having an input field for files like the normal uh, browser usually provides so then we'll also add another class called image input which we will need uh, when we are using javascript so the name of this input field is simply going to be image and uh, just uh, under that we are going to have a button and we make sure we give it a type of button so we make sure we say type button this is important because this is the image button and not the submit button and with browsers uh, by default sorry with browsers by default they usually take any button within a form element to be the submit button unless you specify that it is not the submit button but a normal uh, button so if you don't specify this and the user attempts to choose an image it will just submit the form instead of uh, uh, choosing the image so we are going to give this button some classes um, actually just one class we we'll just give it a class of bg image uh, this is going to we are going to define this style later on and it will enable us to be able to display the image properly on this uh, element okay um, so having done that we're going to now uh, add this icon and the text on the um, button itself so the icon we are going to place the icon and everything else inside a span element and then within that we'll have another we'll have the icon up here and then down here we'll have the text that says choose image and now let us go and find our icon and come and paste it here so we go to our icon pack and we look for image and i think what we're using is this let me check okay so this is what we're using so we click on this we grab the source code and then we paste it here we are just going to give it a class of image outline okay so that is it for the choose image button we are going to finish the rest of the work using javascript in one of the upcoming videos all right so this is the post details it ends here and after that what we have is uh, the publish uh, checkbox so it's going to be another input group it will also have a label and the input field for this is published 
so let's put published uh, or publish in within that label and be sure to add the input field of type check box um, remember for other input fields we are placing just the text within the, la the label element but for a checkbox we are placing uh, the text as well as the input field within the label element when we do that we will be able to select the checkbox just by clicking on the label itself okay so as for the publish input field i'm just going to use the same text for the name and the id and that will be that uh, let us refresh and okay it is working all right so lastly we are going to have another uh, input group and this one obviously is going to be for the submit button and be sure to set the type of the button to submit to be explicit that this is going to submit the form and then we'll have a couple of a few classes we have the btn class primary btn and lastly big uh, btn the text on the button is simply going to say save okay so that is it um and i think as we are expanding the page or the html in the page it is very important that we use comments to demarcate where a particular uh, div element starts and ends so this is where the page content starts and then down here it ends okay so i'll put two forward slashes to show that it ends here and then we can now uh, figure out where the form ends and starts uh, starts and ends because it has a different uh, element okay so um that's all for the html for our create post page um in the upcoming videos we are going to start designing the elements on this page as well as our uh, replacing the text area with this our text editor all right so see you in the next video